Okay, let's talk about the words mean and median, and we're talking about mathematics here. And uh, these words are uh, pretty common in, um, you know, kind of our everyday vernacular. You see them all over the news, and especially financial news and whatnot. They're all, they're all talking about the mean or they're talking about the medium. But guess what? In my experience, like 90% of people don't uh, <laughs> really understand these terms. Uh, oftentimes, they are confusing the two, all right, and they're really thinking, uh, probably most people are really thinking about the mean when they hear the word median, and, uh, you know, when you do that, you are completely misunderstanding the description of what's going on. When someone is saying the median, they mean something completely different than the mean, okay, and so what we want to do is clear up uh, any confusion with this, and if you're confused, then listen, uh, there's a lot of people that are confused. These are terms, of course, for me, I'm a math guy. I work with uh, mathematics all the time, so of course I'm going to know this. Uh, so you don't feel bad if you're confused about this, but let's get you uh, squared away on the mean versus the median. Basic uh, statistical concepts, but very, very uh, common words, all right, If uh, in terms of, you know, just watching the news or, you know, reading anything uh, these days, you know, especially economic, uh, about the economy or economics or you know, business and stuff, you're going to see these words and we want to make sure you understand the difference between them and what they mean. Okay, so we're going to get to this in just one second. Uh, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that bold statement. You can check out my uh, math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses, super comprehensive math courses, not little quick tutorials. When I teach, I try to get my students to truly master, you know, the concepts and you know, quick little tutorial videos. That's OK for like an overview, but that's not what I do. All right. I try to get my students to really be the best. But um, my courses range from uh, pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACUPLACE, or ALEX exam, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, any of those exams and many others, um, just go to my uh, website and check out my full course catalog. And guess what? All those exams have a good amount of math on them. If you don't do well in the math section, on those exams, you do not do well on the exam, so I can definitely help you out. If I don't have the exam that you're studying for, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can anyways. Now, I also do a lot with uh, independent learners like homeschoolers. I've been uh, working with homeschoolers for 15 plus years, so I have a great homeschool learning system, so you might wanna check that out. Then I just help uh, those of you as well that are just struggling in your current math course. Now, if you're truly serious about wanting to learn math or improve in mathematics, then you got to be serious about this, and that is note taking. All right, so you got to take great math notes. Don't blow this off. This is absolute must, and it's an everyday discipline. Okay, if you do this, okay, I'm going to tell you over decades of teaching mathematics, um, you are going to do very, very well. Right, this is just the kind of the rule of thumb that I've seen, and then the reverse is true. If you are more into your cell phone, talking to your friends, and Kind of like, you know, doing homework in another class. During math class, guess what? You're got, you're probably not going to like your final grade. All right? and you can't be saying, my teacher is the worst. I don't like that teacher. Da, da, da. Listen, you got to take uh, personal responsibility and, um, you know, look at your notes. That's going to tell you whether you are focused and engaged. Uh, the thing about uh, anything that you want to learn, okay, is focus. Focus is the key, and you need an activity to you know, keep you away from all these temptations and distractions, that's note-taking. So every day you go into math class, be like, all right, I'm going to take some awesome notes. And if you have that attitude and that discipline, you're going to do very well. But in the meantime, you probably missed a bunch of material. So I um, offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, let's talk about mean versus median. If you think you understand the difference, well, let's let's uh, see if you do. So here's some numbers. This is what we would call some raw data. All right, just a data set. Okay, so it's two, nine, three, one, and five. And uh, I'd like you to 
uh, calculate the mean and median. Please do not go look at your notes. Don't Google this real quick. Yeah, just see what you know. See what you remember, right? The mean and median. You could use your calculator if you feel like you uh, need to, but it's really, it's really super easy stuff. You don't even need your calculator. And uh, I think I'll give you all of about 45 seconds in order to determine uh, the correct answers here. Okay. All right. So if you don't want to see uh, the solutions yet, uh, pause the video because I'm going to go ahead and answer this now. But this is just a little pop quiz. You know, right? Just determine, do you understand the mean and median right now? Okay, so here we go. And let's start off with the mean. All right, this is the mean. What is the mean? Okay, well, let's just answer this right now. The mean is the average. That is what we're talking about. So when you're asked to calculate the mean, uh, we are asked to calculate the average. So how do we do that? Well, Here's our data set. We're going to add up the numbers. We have one, two, three, four, five. We're going to add them all up. And how many numbers again do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We divide by how many numbers we have. So we add all these guys up, divide by five, and we will get the average or the mean. All right. So this, when we add up all these numbers, you should get 20. And we have five numbers. So 20 divided by five is four. That is the mean. And if you got that right, well, then let me give you a little happy face and a check mark that was pretty easy but guess what you know uh it's shown me that you have an idea of what these uh, basic statistical terms mean all right now let's get to the median all right let's get to the median so what is the median well first things first here is our data set okay it was given to us uh, 29315 now you can see i have the answer here the answer is in fact three but this word median doesn't it kind of sound like the word uh, like uh, middle, all right? Like median, middle. Maybe there's something kind of kind of related here. Well, in fact, there is. The median is the middle number. Okay, it's the middle value. But we have to order our uh, data. We have to put it in uh, lowest to highest order first to determine that. I can't just go like right here. Well, in this case, you know, let's just kind of mess around here. Let me put the one, let me put the three like this. I'm like, oh, okay, it's the middle number, so uh, this is in the middle. Um, same data set here, by the way. Uh, so one is the median, wrong, wrong answer, okay? That's not the case. We have to order uh, from lowest to highest first. We'll go one, two, three, five, and nine. And now, uh, whatever is the uh, middle value, okay, is the median, right? That means that um, what exactly half of the values in your data are less than the median and half are um, um, higher than the median, okay? Now, let's talk about, so three is the correct answer. And if you got that right, if you got both of these right, then I must give you a happy face with a little mohawk and A plus and a 100%. That's very, very good. But let's talk about how we see this stuff in uh financial news and things like that. It's very common. So uh, they'll talk about like, let's talk about like median home price. Uh, this is pretty common. Uh, let's say that's like in a particular area, $350,000. Yeah, home, everything is getting so expensive these days. Uh, homes, gas, food. Yeah, we truly do have inflation going on, but let's talk about median home price. What does that mean? All right. So let's say you live in a particular city, all right, city, Y, whatever the case is. So here is the city right here. And uh, the median home price is 350000 So here is our lovely little home in our city. So if that's saying, well, the median home price, what's that say? Well, it says that half the houses over here are going to be less than 350000 Okay, they're well, 350000 I could do better than that. $350,000, okay, half are going to be less, and then half are, are going to be more, okay? Exactly one half are going to be greater than $350,000. That's, that that's what that means, okay? The median home price. So that gives you a sense right off the bat, right? It's the middle number. And quite frankly, you'll hear this word median much more than average, okay? At least in the description of home prices. But let's talk about average home price. Let's say I said, oh, the average home price is, um, 
uh, 350,000. Okay, so how can we interpret that? All right, well, the average home price is 350,000. Let's go back to our city here. All right, and let's erase the median for a second so we don't confuse ourselves. And here we are in lovely city Y. So the average home price is 350,000. Well, what does that tell me? What well, does it tell me that every one of these little houses over here are 350,000? Okay. Well, if the average is three, I mean, people might get that, uh, you know, feeling like, okay, yeah, there's all, every, all these houses. If I go to citywide, the average home price is 350,000. Uh, then, you know, um, you know, maybe I can expect to pay around 350,000. Well, not really because, uh, the average is kind of deceiving, right? In a lot of ways, we need other uh, statistical measures. So you might have like a home over here. It's a hundred thousand, uh, another one that's like 110. Uh, you got one over here at 75,000. You got one for 90,000. And let's say you got another one for 125,000. All right. You're going to say, well, the average is this, but maybe you've got one house over here that's 625,000. Now, I don't know if this is the average. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just kind of making a representation here. But all these little guys right here, they're kind of close by. Okay. You're like, oh, these are in a similar. You know, they're pretty close financially. I mean, their prices are kind of not that far from one another. But then you got this house that's super expensive. Well, guess what? When you calculate this out, the average is going to be way higher than these prices. So you might be deceived if you went by the average. Now, if you did the median here, okay, let's go ahead and do that now real quick. So I have 75. Uh, let's see here. What's next? 90. And what's next after that? Looks like 100. And then I had 110. And then I have 125. And then I have my 625. Let me make sure I got everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. All right. So let's calculate the median. So what is the middle? Mm, I'm not sure, right? This is the middle. No. How about that's the middle? No, there is no middle. Well, what we have to do is take the two uh, closest numbers that, that are near the middle because this is an even amount of uh, data. Okay, the, the last um, problem we did right up here, we had odd numbers, okay, odd number of numbers. So we had one, two, three, four, five. It was very simple to get the, the middle. But in this case, all we have to do is we just average uh, the two middle numbers. So between 100 and and 110, if I add those up, okay, uh, the middle will be 105, okay, 105. So that will be the median. Now, the median is much more descriptive, okay, of what's going on here. It means half the homes are going to be less than 105 and half are going to be 105. So what's the point of uh, this video? Well, one is to know the difference between the, uh, the median and the mean, but uh in statistics, you, you need to know other measurements as well, okay? We call this uh, the measures of central tendency. So things like, obviously, the mean, okay, the median. There's another thing called the mode, which I talk about in other videos. And then there's the range. And then there's another thing, which would be very helpful, called the standard deviation, All right? Now, I'm not going to get into that. But you want to know all these values to get a really, really accurate picture of what's going on. But I think the median, for the most part, you know, like with the home sales and prices and whatnot, uh, that word shows up pretty frequently. So now, congratulations, you are the 10% of uh, common people that are walking around. And I don't mean that in a, a mean way, but, you know, a lot of people they read this, they're confused. They think they're, oh yeah, the median home price, they're really in their mind's eye thinking average, okay? But you can say, no, 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 that's not what that means. It means this. And people will be very impressed with you, I'm sure. Anyways, so uh, with that being said, if this video was informative in some way, if you liked it in some way, please consider uh, smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have a thousand plus videos on my channel, ranging from basic to advanced math. So if you like my teaching style, uh, you can definitely learn a lot from me here. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.